That's my great-great-grandfather. He built the first concrete street in America. George Wells Bartholomew Jr. is my great-grandfather. I think that he had a big vision in terms of commerce in the, in the United States, in the whole country. And if he could make a road that would allow farmers and merchants to get their, their goods to market without having their wheels of their wagons and their horses' hooves get stuck in the dirt and the crud and the mud, uh, there could be some real progress in the United States. Now the brick pavers at that time were expensive and they were very loud and noisy as well. And so they actually bid this concrete pavement as an option to the brick pavers. And of course, the concrete pavement won over. Mr. Bartholomew, he started out as a tool salesman in his travels, came across a person in San Antonio, Texas. This person was German trained in the manufacturing process of cement and actually George Bartholomew went to Germany for a time period to learn that process. Then the next step was to find a local area that had the correct proportions of limestone and clay. And one of the key ingredients in concrete is marl. And marl's kind of like sand. He found that the best marl was in Bell Fountain, Ohio, it was in Logan County. This supporter and friend of Backer uh, that he had out of San Antonio was the Texas State Pharmacist. Well, this chemist, he had a connection with the Bell Fountain Butler Pharmacy. So he set up shop for George Bartholomew to do his experimentation in the back room of this shop. And I always had this vision of like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde or something because he was down there with his little beakers and what have you. Now his grinding mill was very rustic. It was actually round flint stones imported from Iceland. And they were very affordable because ships traveling across the Atlantic would haul these in, their, in, in the hull of their vessels for ballast. The general public did not trust American-made cement. They wanted German-made cement. Jawohl. He actually stamped some barrels of his Buckeye Portland Cement Company product with Nuremberg. And once he did that, he sold it right off. It was actually a test section that the city, at that time the village of Bell Fountain Council approved as a cement paved gutter, they called that at the time. What it actually was, was a hitching post for the horses across the street from the county courthouse. And that's what they were commemorating last summer. Thank you so much, it's really exciting to be here. It's kind of, even for our family that's out of town, to say, oh, come on to Ohio, it's the first concrete street in the United States. And really? Yeah, it really is. The city uh, had a performance bond required by George Bartholomew because they didn't believe it could hold up to the horse hoofs and the wagon wheels. But it was, in fact, very successful. In the following year, the council was petitioned by the property owners around the city block of the courthouse that they wanted concrete on their streets as well. The streets around the Logan County Courthouse began to be paved in concrete. <gasps> and he was, he was smart, he was innovative, he was creative, and he had a lot of guts. And he had to convince a lot of people that this was a good idea. And now, look around, here you are, everywhere you go, there's Concrete Street. And I think that he had to have been a very persuasive guy, but I think he also was a very caring person especially in terms of the fact that he wanted to help others and he, he saw this as um, uh, a way to make a big difference for everybody. A section of the concrete was taken to the Chicago World's Fair in 1893. And at that World's Fair, it was displayed 
uh, as a new pavement and won first place prize for technological advancement. Wow. So that kind of brought it to the attention of not only the country, but the entire world. This was a really important piece of progress for the whole country. The Vanderbilts and the Rockefellers, but you don't hear about the Bartholomews, but we're still there. We're still part of that whole movement of um, progress in the early 20th century. So, and I'm, I'm really proud of it. People look at me like, are you making this up? This is just crazy. Every once in a while, in a crossword puzzle or in some historical thing on TV, there's something about the first concrete street. There's something about Bartholomew. And you're like, Whoa, wait a minute, that's us!